Welcome back to my home studio. I'm going to show you uh, what I'm going to do with these pieces. Um, so it's all been covered in these buckets for almost um, a week. I made them um, like a week ago. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out of the bucket and put them on this shelf here. Um, I'll still cover them with some plastic, uh, but it won't be as tight as, as you know these buckets and then they will be drying slowly again for another week. Um, the reason I do that is just because the majority of those are mugs and where you attach the mugs, you don't want um, the, uh, where you attach, sorry, the, <laughs> the handles, you don't want them to deattach because this sometimes can happen. It's just extra precaution. Anyway, so I will just show you these pieces. Um, here we go. And I like them to be upside down um it's hard when i can't because i'm using um the the front camera of the phone so i can't actually see myself so i don't know if i'm actually talking to you or not hopefully i am okay so we've got this mug here so this is a hand building mug i did show you before how i made it and uh, i'm going to leave it on the shelf i will leave it um, apparently it's better to leave it upside down um, so I'm just gonna go here I think the next one is the same um, the only, uh, I leave a little bit of hot water in here it creates some sort of humidity uh, some steam inside the bucket which uh, helps as well to keep everything moist this one is the same. I made this one for a friend of mine. Uh, it's her birthday coming up soon. So I bought happy birthday, um, Sonia. I hope she doesn't mind that I'm actually saying her name out loud. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm sure she's gonna be pleased with this one. Um, oh, now I'm gonna do some mopping because uh, it's dripping. I have to keep an eye on this attachment here because when I attached it, it was a little bit too dry. So hopefully it should be all right. Okay, the last, uh, the, uh, the four at the back, they actually, the four at the back, they are actually wheel thrown. So I'm not gonna remove the buckets all at once. I will remove the buckets um, once at the time. Uh, and because I don't want them to dry too much, I will um, like, for example, do one piece, trim it on the, on the wheel. And then when, once I finish with that one, I move the second one. So yeah, um, because um, when you trim your pieces, when they are real thrown, they need to be at the right, um, um, like at the right sort of um, uh, moist. Um, you don't want them to be like you want them to be what's called leather hard. You don't want them to be too dry. This is another one. This is a little bit different, different texture. I'll show you how that looks like. I made these uh, for Etsy, uh, my Etsy shop. And um, I think they will be good for the Etsy shop because um, they very light weight. Um, so they won't um, cost uh, my client um, too much uh, for postage. I'm gonna go with the name and just carve it again, uh, just make it look deeper. So again, it's better to put this upside down, but this is okay. I will find another spot for it. All that, um, I'm gonna do some mopping because I'm getting some clay. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got another one. So I've got two of these. I've learned from the lovely uh, Jessica Platinum Philip to instead of doing one mug in one session, do more than one. So I made these two in one go. Um, yeah, so as you can see, there's a little bit of mold happening here, but apparently mold is good for clay. Maybe it's not good for me to smell. And then in here I have this um, nice vase. Uh, that was uh, requested by um, this lovely lady who has a beautiful gift shop at West End. 
she um, asked for a particular height like 18 centimeter and um, a particular um, width as well I hope she likes it it will look good when it's uh, when it's uh, glazed um, and she asked for it to have it all straight um, I hope the camera is showing to have it all straight um, yeah made three so that's a third one as well I'll leave that upside down now this one I haven't quite finished um, trimming it so I'm gonna work on this today it's a bit heavy this is a coil hand building from the scratch I did a slab first and then I um, I did coils, coils, then trimmed the rim and trimmed from inside and outside. Um, there is a video on my Instagram um, shows how the process of making this piece. Um, so I will cover it when I'm ready for it. I will, I might even think, I'm thinking to put it on the wheel and uh, trim it because it's very heavy. So yeah, I'm not sure, I might be doing that. Um, and the wheel thrown uh, mugs that I threw um, last weekend, um, I've got double buckets because I want them to stay wet, so I'll show you. Um, so yeah, it's getting a little bit dry, that's one of them I did throw on the wheel um, it is a little bit big for a mug so I'm just deciding whether I should um, keep them make them a mug or make them a vase um, I am planning now to make mugs for Valentine's Day so I've got some idea on what to do but I'm still deciding so I'll keep this open because I will be trimming this soon but I will cover the rest um, that's another one that's definitely maybe smaller that can be a mug and then so I will cover this one because it's going to be trimmed after and then I've got this one as well that can be a mug I reckon they they will I'm gonna trim them and they will shrink a lot so they're not gonna be that big so I'll put this one here and then the last one so I made four last weekend yeah I think this looks more like a nice mug as well I did the sodium silicate as you can see I'm obsessed with sodium silicate I just really feel like it leaves really nice texture and the good thing with um, Amico glazes although they don't run that much um, you don't have to glaze all the way down so you still have a little bit of space here that if it does run it's not gonna reach the kiln shelf and it's not gonna get stuck on the kiln shelf so I just like to put um, that sodium silicate it just gives it some um, character <laughs> okay so I will cover that one as well and so yeah what I'm gonna do next I'm just gonna go back and carve the name properly just go over the carved name with a little carving tool because I think I did it with a pencil and then I'm gonna come back and trim this one so maybe I will deattach it and put it upside down this way it dries more uh, it doesn't dry uh, from the top it just dries from the bottom okay thank you for watching and i will be posting this video soon um and i'm learning lots about social media uh there's like a, a instagram coach and you know and apparently it's not good to post everything in one day it's good to uh do uh like uh patching for videos um 
and then keep them and then just start posting out uh, once it, like if post one post every day instead of posting them all in one day um, but I make my ceramic on the weekend so um, yeah um, if you see a post or a story it doesn't mean that it's actually on that day it could be filmed the day before or on the weekend that's how social media works there's a lot to learn and I'm enjoying it but um, there's lots of tricks on how to like um, uh, bring traffic from Instagram to my Etsy shop, bring traffic from Pinterest to my Etsy shop, um, Instagram and um, uh, TikTok, they are, they compete against each other. So they don't like us to create a video on TikTok and then share it on Instagram. So there's a lot to learn and apparently it's good on Instagram to post uh, videos of yourself that is, or really call them reels r double -E -L, uh, with yourself like dancing and doing funny things and I don't know I'm a bit worried because I just don't want to uh, give the wrong impression uh, but apparently that's what they're saying it's good to like show your audience wherever they are like people who um, make pottery like me and they just you know I'm sort of like I'm inspiring them or customers who would like to buy uh, some of my pieces they would like to see behind the scene and they also like to see me in person and see me doing funny dancing dancing and so yeah I'm I'm thinking to do it but I just want it to be respectful and I don't want to get carried away and dance too much and give the wrong messages um anyway thank you so much for watching and enjoy your weekend or day or night wherever you wherever you are whatever time you are in at the moment thank you so much bye